So, I got this. I'll talk about why I got this. <clears throat> We're gonna play Crash Bandicoot 3, because I like Crash Bandicoot 3 the most. Crash 1's hard. Crash 2... But we'll talk about it. So interestingly, this was made by... This was Activision Vicarious Visions. And the kart racer was handled by Beanox instead of Vicarious Visions. Completely different people remastered. I wonder who did the Spyro one. Look, it's not jagged now. You can actually see what the grass is. I feel sorry for Aku Aku being like the only person with a brain. Well, Coco's okay. Crash is just... Yeah. <laughs> it's raining hard. The bandicoot he created. Also, Uka Uka is invented for free. Crash 3. And it turns out they just sort of retcon that cortex. Okay, so it doesn't really make much sense. Apparently, he was... He was serving Uka Uka, but then he didn't know he broke Uka Uka free and doesn't seem aware of him. Like, it was an accident that Uka Uka was freed after the events of Crash 2. And then it's like, they're trying to retcon that he was serving him the whole time, but Cortex seems genuinely confused as to his existence. So, everyone can just access this place including the villains, but they don't. We do. And it just kind of, like, is here, even though I'm pretty sure Entropy, the Dali-looking guy. Yeah, they actually based uh, that Entropy guy that you saw. He's based off of Salvador Dali, like in the design notes, they basically say that. So we got a slide and I'll jump. So you can duck, but we crawl around like some weirdo. Oh, and it kind of freaks out if you choose a thing as it's turning. Uh, spin. Inventory. Standard jump, no double jump yet. So, it's going to tutorialize the shit out of us, but I'm just, just going to ping it all. Oh, it didn't. Normally it goes, you can't access this thing yet. You're an idiot. Oh, that's pretty cool. If you look at the screen, they're taking shots from two and, like, one and stuff. The first shot was Sunset Vista, but there's a concept art for the first island. That's pretty cool. Uh, <clears throat> that's new. So, look, the great thing about these warp room-based games, which was much later, like, two and three brought them in, is you can actually choose the order. So if you were to decide as a kid, because, you know, the first game was pretty hard. Can't jump off. Uh, oh, let's, uh, lesson. 
this level, level two, is too fucking hard because it's a water level. Fuck that. I want to go just, yeah, yeah, skip. Uh, go to all, like the one where I get to ride the red the pan, the red pan, ride the tiger. You know, like shit like that. You could just do them in an order you felt like doing them. So this LP, I'll be kind of like trying to do each level and 100 percenting it, and like each. We'll see how I go. We'll see how we go. So yeah, we're here. Look, it's nice. We spin the box. The box gives us fruit. This is water and not death. It gives you a hint in case you're retarded. <laughs> okay, that was mean. If you never play one of these games. So we're not going to be able to get platinum relics the first time around because we don't have the dash. Until, ooh, <laughs> the end and he got goated straight away. Look, the water, it's got an effect on it now. That's actually a hole. Checkpoint. Ah, yeah, I timed that just in time. So, circumstances in which I bought this game. we I'm having a really weird time with my landlady where she's... She, I, I run like my rentals through an estate agent and I'm pretty certain unless something fucked up that I haven't paid rent and I text them because today's rent due date and I was like how much do I owe and they're like uh nothing and I'm like fuck no I know I owe rent and they're like oh yeah you owe 7,000 quiet rent uh, which is about 700 for three months. It's about seven, nearly 800 pounds for rent for like three months of rent because, yeah, whatever. Uh, it, it's, the, it's the usual amount. And I was like, oh, okay. And they were like, yeah, the, the next time you owe us this rent, though, is like in October. And I'm like, did I pay three months of rent at some point and just forget? When would I have done that? And they're like, no, 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 our system says this. You don't owe us many money. And I'm like, okay. Have you paid my landlady? Because obviously the uh, state agent that handles my rental, I give them money. Oh, I thought I spam that. No, give me. No, there we go. Oh, oh, I'm, oh, I'm bad. What the fuck's going on? The frame data. It's different. When I was a kid, I was better at this. Ribbit. <laughs> There's like unique death animations, or there was in the original game, for basically every enemy interaction if you die to them. You actually have to manually pick them up. The uh, crystals in this. If you can actually complete the game and not get the progression crystal, which is essential for you to beat the game. And look, we got all the box gem. So I was planning on trying to do that for every level, but as we progress, we will see if I can keep doing that. Yeah, so obviously my brain went super genius as my brain is. Blech. He does the dance. Fun fact, this dance was not invented by Naughty Dog, it was invented by some um, marketing agent in Japan or something who was just like, he needs a dance. And they were like, what kind of dance? And she just busted that sick dance out of fucking nowhere. And they were like, someone's been thinking about this for too long. Fine, it's his official dance now. Because apparently, you remember when Sony first came out with the PlayStation, this was the mascot. Everyone was going Crash Bandicoot crazy in the marketing departments for um, 
this game and they were just like, no, he has to have like everything. He has to be better. He has to be cool, edgy 90s Mario. And they were really trying, man. And then when that didn't really take the way that they wanted it to, they then brought Spyro into the fold. And like basically, like, Sony wanted a mascot so hard, they commissioned two separate companies to try and create a cuddly mascot that will get the kids to play platformers on their system rather than on, um... Kind of handles weird if you spin, he kind of spins forward. Um, these mines follow you. Uh, yeah, like they were trying so hard to get a hit that they were just throwing money around. That they were just like, right, Insomniac, can you make us? Oh, is it Insomniac? Yeah. Uh, can you make us? And they made Spyro. And then, uh, well, that was actually after Crash, and they'd already commissioned Naughty Dog to make this. Oh, well, not this, the first one. Yeah, so, talk about playing. I want the, I want the, I want the thing. Gotta shoot all these things before they go, because the spinny boxes turn into metal boxes, and you've gotta break every box in the game to get your, to get your little, your little gem. Little jemmy gem, clear gems, colored gems are later. Secret pathways and shit. Blow these up, there we go. Can't take it in the tunnel. It just explodes. Oh, if I time this right, I don't want to fuck it up. That was a good zap. This used to be a very jagged disc, and it was very hard to perceive it as a kid. And I got electrocuted the first few times, I got really scared, especially with these eels as well. Because it was very hard to see where they were coming from because of the low, the low poly first generation PlayStation. I mean, it was one of the first games really to come out. Well, it wasn't one of the first, but it was like pretty early in the life cycle of the first game. And then like they went throughout the whole life cycle of the PlayStation and it just... It's quite hard to make everything very, very intelligible. I sometimes think they went for a walkthrough thing, because rendering the, uh... Well, I wonder if rendering the islands was harder. It was also just that it was very linear progression, so it's like you get stuck on a level, you're fucked. And there's a lot of, a lot of levels on Crash 1 where you would get stuck. And you'd be like, oh, well, I want to play Crash, but I have to beat this horrible rickety bridge. The, the ones where all of the missing planks were, you know. So straight away we got two... Two gems, two crystals, two levels. Très efficient. So I don't think I finished any of my stories. I kind of cut off at like five different places. Uh, so yeah, let's just, just go into this one. Now this game was the first time originally you could play as Coco. And you're like, yeah, look, I get to play as Coco, but she was only playable in the ones where she wasn't um, going to be running around spinning anyway. But they gave her a spin now because you can manually convert to her for any level now, which I think is nice because it was a bit like, you can play as Coco, but only for these. Oh, well, I've missed a box straight away, so we're not getting the... I've ruined the playthrough. It's cancelled. See, like, you have to go a certain pathway. Oh! <laughs> and to miss... To get the opportunity... To miss those boxes. Just, and just fuck up that one as well. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> we'll just do it later. <laughs> So what else have I been doing? Off screen, I went, ah, oh, while well, this and RE3, which I also bought, was installing, I sat down and thought, oh, you know what would be funny? Uh, I'll just sit down and uh, mess around on the place where I suspended it on my last playthrough with V on Bloody Palace off screen. I won't get that far. I reckon I'll fuck it up. It's fine. Oh, I missed some. 
you hit those things, you get a one per fruit, you hit the baskets. Um, hey guys, that was China. All of the music for this game is just hardwired into my brain. So that one we just got the crystal, I'll go back and do that later. Sake progress, we're just going to keep moving forward. She does not get a dance. I think she gets a dance if you get the uh, see now. Suddenly, there's two gems. How can you get both all the boxes twice? Ah. Tiny is here. Tiny makes a return. Koala Kong does not ever. Tiny is basically the replacement, the reiteration. Oh, oh. Don't let the, and then we run away from the run away from Dino. You're always running away from something in a crash game. In one of the crash games. It's always a, it's just it's always a different thing. Oh, lava. Oh, he's still chasing me. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I thought the first time he only chased you a little bit to just show you the mechanic of this thing will chase you occasionally. So in two, it was like a polar bear. In one, it was a giant boulder. In this one, oh. Oh, he just stopped there. Okay, bye-bye. Oh. It's gonna fuck up this thing. Oh, good job there wasn't any, like, jumping puzzle for some boxes or anything. See, there's this weird... You need the red gem. Can you tell? There was a red platform that was a wireframe. Yeah, you need the red gem. That's to get one of the, the clear gems. Oh, I remember this, like, an encyclopedia and it's depressing. I know this better than I would know how to do my job. <laughs> oh, is that actually true? Holy shit, it might actually be true. So, yeah, like, I don't know what happened. But at some point, apparently, I paid off my rent. And I'm just waiting for them to get back and say, no, no, that was a computer error. You owe, like, three months of rent. I'm like, fine, I've got the money. <laughs> Whenever they get in touch with me, I'm just worried that they'll do this annoying thing that sometimes the Chinese do, which is, oh, we made a mistake. You can e We can easily rectify it. No, no, no. What we're going to do... Why, why can't I do this? Am I stupid? I'm stupid, aren't I? Oh. Oh, no! Oh, I'm a moron. Oh. I might actually be stupider than I was when I was seven. Uh, that's good to know. What was I 12 at this point? I can't One of those numbers. When did this come out? So I got a story about my preferred Crash Bandicoot experience. Uh, we played Crash Bandicoot 1, all of us, as a family, throughout the well, its release, basically. Well, it was actually a few years after its release, because we didn't get a PlayStation until 95, and this came out originally. The first game came out in, like, I want to say 93, 94? I can't remember. Wow. Oh. Well, I'm fucking this up. I'm actually overcomplicating it like crazy and trying to get on top of them. I can just do this. Mario bump them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and we played that, and we were back in those days. Our attitude was, we will not buy another game until we have completed the first game. And my dad interpreted that as 100% completed what is arguably one of the hardest popular 3D platforms of the era. So we couldn't get the next Crash Bandicoot game until then. And we had to, back in those days, 
back in those days. Kids these days, they don't know what they got. Oh, thanks, Dinosaur, you broke that box for me. Oh, it matters. Ooh. I missed some earlier. Uh, see. I missed, like... Yeah, I missed the two in the bonus level. It's going poorly. Uh... Yeah, and it took us so long, and it took us, like, a walkthrough purchase, like a glossy bought from, like, the game or HMV of that era, that area. We were in Cyprus at the time. We'll do this one. Um, kind of thing, where it took us, like... <clears throat> it took us, like... The, we had to buy a separate walkthrough and see how to get secret levels and it took my dad days and him just being angry and being like, why are we even doing this? And it's like, this is your idea. We're not allowed to buy another game until you've beaten this one. He did this with Tomb Raider as well. He was obsessed with Tomb Raider. I was too young to even understand. I was kind of scared of Tomb Raider actually because there was mummies and shit and I was like, I don't know. Couldn't have been much older than five, actually, thinking about it. I was born in 92. But by this point, when he was playing Tomb Raider. And he was like... Oh, well, let's just go back and get that one. No, don't shoot me. Uh, yeah, and he was, like, obsessed. He was getting all of the secrets and everything, and then all of a sudden, he just stopped playing video games. Because I think he was one of these guys who was like, no, it has to be perfect. And he was got pretty angry if it wasn't perfect. And he just realized that he was just not the right mentality. He couldn't let things go. There we go. Need that. Um, yeah, he just... So, did I get both of those? See, I'm getting like it now. Uh, he could not let it go. Oh, and he hit a bomb. Yeah. Ugh, let's go back. Good job, it's not like time this time. Mm. Yeah. Uh, ooh, there we go. Touch. Just touch the box. Or just miss the ramp. Okay, the child. Uh, yeah, he got really obsessed. By the time we finished Crash 1, Crash Three had been out for a while. Ah, well, I hit the ball. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so we just we just straight away migrated to Crash Three, actually. And then later on, we realized because on the box art for Crash Three, the three is actually quite discreet, and it's just called the official title down the spine is Crash Bandicoot Walked. So we just see Crash Bandicoot and we buy Crash Bandicoot because we're a Crash Bandicoot family, because we're weirdos. Yeah. One hundred percent. Perfect run. Now, fun mechanic of these games, it won't let you go back and get the time trial shit and the the gem shit you missed. No, she does have a dance. What a try hard. And before she used to walk down here and another and crash would come up. Huh. I guess they're being lazy. <laughs> Not really. Uh, <laughs> time for Tinny. Tinny Tigger. Why does he have a hat? Because we're going to Rome. Yeah, we got to fight him. Cortex is here just being a dick. To think like there should have been a hidden thing where you could take a shot at uh, Cortex here and just like you know like at the beginning of DMC Five where you could just somehow one shot the boss if you were clever enough, you styled enough. This is just yeah, he gets faster, and it's pretty hard with your base skills because <laughs> you gotta like your run speed of this is you haven't got the dash yet. Oh, and this this shit. It's bad. <laughs> oh no. No! I don't want to get eaten. I'm going to get eaten. Oh, there's a toad. Another tiger. 
No, 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 don't kill me. Pliz! He always has the sneakers, I like that. It's, it's the lions that always fuck me up. Because there's a pattern to them. And I don't, I don't pattern. Pliz, no! No! <laughs> and then I panic and jump into them. I got one more, one more punch on this dude, and he's dead anyway. Please stop. There you go, and now he's dead. And we go get this. And they throw tomatoes. Yeah, now your belly flop is, uh... It's more powerful. Yeah, that's... It's not a very good first power-up, but, the, you know, like, it changes very little. More about the effect of the power flop. So you can just run through, you don't have to 100% each area, you can just get the pinks. So yeah, we, we beat him. But like I was saying, uh, I'll go back and do some 100 percent in here, get Egypt. They, they have nice theming for the warp rooms, and then for variety's sake, they don't just go, here's all the Egypt levels, here's all the China levels, here's all the Arabic levels, here's all the medieval levels. Because, yeah, they're all different skill levels anyway. So we got this. I think we can do the time trial now. I, I don't know. We gotta get that. And we gotta actually try and do this, but I feel like that's that I'm too stupid. So we're just gonna Yeah, so we uh actually played them as a family in a weird order, and it actually meant that the most hands-on experience I got was with three. <laughs> they make out he's dead. Maybe he is. Oh yeah, so now the little golden stopwatch appears. Which means I could now also time trial all of these. And that gets you bonus secret levels. Uh, yeah. Okay, dum dum dum. Dum, dum, dum. I can do it, I can do it. The tiger handles weird and his, his movement and gait is a little bit strange. They gotta hit the center, so otherwise it'll fuck up. <laughs> Official crash terminology there. Uh, yeah, so uh, the most hands on time as a kid that I had was actually with this crash iteration. Yeah. Ooh. I'm gonna choke at the last minute, I can just fucking feel it. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I say it and immediately it happens. Oh, well. It was more forgiving, this game, after the first game. It's... <clears throat> the difficulty level drops slowly in the Crash franchise from, like, one being the hardest, two still being pretty hard in places near the nearer the end and genuinely feeling unfair for the final boss fight where it's literally you're racing the guy on a jetpack that handles like shit. <laughs> like, you know, which is why I don't like that one. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I can do it. How many we got? Yeah, we got all of them. Now I just don't die. I didn't die, everyone. Are you proud of me? The fact that we did the entire first warp room in less than half an hour. <laughs> just like, it's not going to be like that all the way through. <laughs> and look, we got another gem. And now she's going to do it the city dance. So, um... It's not as cool a dance. Not as cool. 
So let's, let's, just, let's show off a time trial. So you, they change color based on how good you do. You can't really get platinum unless you've got like, you basically unlocked all the power-ups because he gets a sprint as one of his final power-ups, which just makes speedrunning really easy. He's just explaining what I just said. The third game is the first time they released the time trials. The boxes will change. It's mostly the boxes will change. So see, look, and now if you see, because uh, he's running so slow, we're not going to get very far. Uh, yeah, so how was I, what was I chatting about? Um, we need this. And we need this, you can kind of chip it, there we go. Oh god, I, I might just have Crash Bandicoot themed autism, where I'm just like, this is how you min-max Crash Bandicoot, what the fuck have I been doing with my life? Yeah, look at that shit. I meant to do that. Just ignore him, he's a waste of time. This is kind of a waste of time, but whatever. Don't really need it, because I'm not going to be taking hits. And you kind of spin and graze. Oh, I missed one. That's okay. We spin and graze these ones. No, we can't. Oh, I'm choking. I'm choking. Just bounce on everything. You're keeping momentum. Boing. Oh! Everyone saw that, right? Matrix shit right there. This is an okay time. I think the platinum was always like 55 seconds, so you can see how you need to sprint for that. Oh, it wasn't even gold. Oh, oh now I got to use. Please enter your initials. I don't. I don't want to. Also, this is wrong. <laughs> oh, there we go. What are my initials for the sake of this LP? Ass. <laughs> no. I put my real initials. Wah. <laughs> We're Waluigi for this one. So yeah, that's that's what that is. Hey everyone, look. What do you do? He does the dance for. Oh, can we interrupt it after a while? I don't want to, but like. <laughs> for every single thing except the crystal, he's gonna do the dance. The time trial on this is horrible. Oh, it says the target times. Wait, does it tell you. Change. Okay, it won't change. I thought it'd tell us the gold times as well. Okay, yeah, never mind. So yeah, you can see the see the times. So we should probably get the, the gem. I'll try and get the gem. How am I gonna get the gem? Probably not by being stupid. I want to get the gem, so I'm not going to get that. You can't get both. Time trial invalidates the box gem thing. You can't get a good time and all the boxes, so... Oh, did you see that <laughs> log freaking out? Oh, did he hit that one? He better have hit that one. <laughs> oh no, should we start again? Ah, fuck! <laughs> oh, it's all going wrong. <laughs> they actually handled the log worse. The log used to break into specific parts and fly forwards, and you would have to, like, dodge them as you ran. In this one, <laughs> the log shatters and just Zed fights out of existence and jitters around like it's possessed. It explodes. It's important that you watch it explode. Not really, I just make sure I don't trust nothing. Oh yeah, this is that's the body slam. So the stand the slam. Oh no, it just does look. I'm worried that these count, but I don't think they did. Oh. 
I just took a needless hit, but like whatever. Eh. Oh no! There we go. Need the wumps. Them wumps. Need to set fire to myself. Don't fuck up the bonus round. You can kill yourself on the bonus round, it doesn't take a hit. And then do it again if you messed up. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so we played them in a weird order. Uh, I played Spyro 1 and Spyro 2, and then I never bought Spyro 3, because by the point Spyro 3 came out and I was aware of it, I was just like, oh, I just do not care. Oh, shit, I did it again. Yeah, you just hold X. Of course you just hold X to jump higher. I tried last time, though, and it didn't seem to be taking. You can do this, I it? Breaks the laws of physics a little bit. Uh, so we got all of this. Good. We're already on 28 lives, so 29 lives. Just still doing the ones. I see him. Now! He tried to eat me! There we go, get some combos in. Oh, well, oh, okay, that counted for more than I thought. It looked like one one per fruit. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, um, I played these in a weird order. Uh, it may have affected my Crash experience, but I've never particularly cared for Crash Bandicoot 2. A lot of people said, no, that's the really good one, and honestly, there's just a lot of it I didn't like. Uh, some really cool bits, elements of it that I really did like. But, like, um... Oh no! Oh, he got it for me. Thank you, Dino. Oh, he killed me, though. <laughs> I was too busy spazzing around there. Uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, I really like this game. It had a lot of cool stuff in it. I've done it again. I went back for the box and I'm stuck in the grass and it's all going wrong. Oh, don't know how it wasn't on fire then. Ooh, caught in that explosion. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I got it. You can run past the gem if you're not careful and then you can't retrieve it because you fall down. That's all the gems. I mean, we could do all the time trials just to show them. So honestly, some of those are time trials. They're not very fun. And honestly, you get five relics. You get five relics. It unlocks a central thing. Or it used to unlock a central thing that goes here. And then it warps you away, but this might just be it. I think this is it now. Oh no, this is the super secret bonus content level. Future tense. So for Crash 1, they had to omit a level because it was literally too hard for Crash Bandicoot 1. Like, they were beta testing it and, like, or bug testing it, and all of the testers were like, like, this is impossible. <laughs> like, you expect people to complete this, like, people will stop playing the game. So, yeah, there'll be a secret warp room appears here. Uh, when that appears, it takes you underneath, and there's, like, all of this, like, extra level shit, but we don't have to worry about that. Uh, let me save it. We do it the usual way. Yes. So now you can just swap if you want. Uh, but yeah, it auto saves, but we're gonna manual save here. Gotta rotate square to save. That's such a weird one. And we're gonna stop sessions here and then, like, so that I can cut it up easier. <laughs>